Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve this beautiful number theory problem where we have to find m and n such that they are natural numbers. Now, before going to attempt this question, let's see what is the prime factorization of 1232. This is 2 to the power 4 into 7 into 11. Now why this is important? Because we are gonna need it in future. Okay. Uh, to solve this question, modular arithmetic is very important tool to solve this type of number theory problem. Anyway, now let's start solving this question. So now we have m square plus 1232 equals to 3 to the power n now writing 1232 in prime factorization 2 to the power 4 into 7 into 11 is equals to 3 to the power n now if we take uh, 2 to the power any number mod both sides this is not going to work because 2 square the residue of 2 square is either 1 g or 0 of any perfect square hence we have to take either 7 or 11 in this case so let's walk so now walking mode 7 both side let's see what happens before going to use uh, mode 7 let's see what are the perfect uh, what are the residue of perfect square taken mode 7 m taken as m square mod 7 so there are six possibilities so either we will get 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so 0 square mod 7 is 0 while 1 square mod 7 is 1 2 square which is 4 mod 7 is 4 3 square is 9 mod 7 is 2 4 square is 16 and mod uh, 7 is 2 and 5 square is 25 and mod 7 is 4 whereas 6 square is 36 mod 7 is 1 so you can see here the only possible values when taken m square is either 0 1 2 or 4 mod 7 now let's check out what are the residue of 3 to the power y when taken mod 7 ok now let's see the residue of n when taken as mod 7 where n is the power of 3 so 3 to the power 0 which is 1 so 1 mod 7 is 1 3 to the power 1 is 3 so 3 mod 7 is 3 3 to the power 2 is 9 mod 7 is 2 3 to the power 3 is 27 mod 7 is 6 whereas 3 to the power 4 which is 81 mod 7 is 4 3 to the power 5 mod 7 is 5 whereas 3 to the power 6 mod 7 is 1 so as you can see here we have m square mod 7 is either 0 or 1 or 2 or 4 it means it can only be 0 1 2 or 4 now if you compare we don't have 0 so we have here 1 which is 0 and 6 2 is uh, now 2 is only a 2 and 4 is we have for 4 it means 3 to the power n here either it must be the power must be in even number because we have 2 0 2 4 and 6 e, n must be even number now as we can see n must be even let's say n equals to 2k for k some natural number it means m square plus 1232 must be 3 to the power 2k 
and now we can write this as n square 12 32 3 k to the power 2 and now bringing everything to right hand side we have 3k square minus m square is equals to 1232 and now we already know that this 1232 is 2 to the power 4 into 7 into 11 and now this is difference of 2 square using our formula 3k plus m 3k minus m must be 1232 or any of the factor of this number now now let's see 3k plus m must be greater than 3k minus m it means the factor one factor must be greater than another and because this is the sum of two number this is the difference of two number this two factor must be on same parity so two factors must be of same parity so they must be even and even or or and or but they cannot be even and or 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 in even now let's list such factors now let's list such factors let's list such factors and we'll find uh, two factors of 1232 such that they must be of same parity and not equal and you will get only a few possible uh, pair of numbers 616 2 12 32 or or 4428 44 and 28 now if we add these two number two equation m and m will cancel and we will get two and we will get 2 3 to the power k must be equals to 616 plus 2 618 308 plus 4 3 12 this must be the result must be like this now after dividing 2 by these numbers we will further get 3 to the power k must be 603 618 by 2 or 312 by 2 or 1 or 72 by 2 finally 3k 3 to the power k is either 309 or 36 now if you see 3 to the power k as k is a perfect so natural number and 309 is a uh, no uh, power of k equals to 309 and so this is not possible 156 is also not possible but yes 81 is possible as 81 is 3 to the power 4 and 51 is also not possible neither 39 nor 36 the only possibility left with us is 3 to the power k must be equal to 3 to the power 4 and it implies that k must be 4 now so now if you consider these two equation satisfied for only this value so 3k minus m must be equals to 8 3k minus m must be equals to 8 now using this equation let's find out the value 3k minus m must be 8 and r 73 here is our very first second one now if you consider we have taken 3k square minus m square equals to 12 32 or our original equation was m square plus 12 32 equals to 3 to the power n and n equals to 2k therefore n must be 2 into 4 or n must be n must be 8 and m must be 73 well if you put 73 square plus 12 32 must be 3 to the power 8 and because this is a perfect square m can also be minus 73 so we can say the only possible solution to this equation is so now we can say the only solution to this equation can be mn the only solution is plus or minus 73 and 8 so this is the only solution we have to this equation thank you for watching see you next time